Another edition of First Person in 2013, again sponsored by the Ruin Camp Farm Drainage Company in Fort Laramie. 80 years of commercial, residential, and farm service. They'll make water work for you. If you've got a dry field or a wet field you want to make dry, or a wet basement, they can help you with that too. Call Phil Barhorst at Ruin Camps in Fort Laramie. They're on Dawson Road across from the high school. They'll help you. As I say, they have helped me. Uh, our first opportunity to talk baseball in 2013 with, uh, I hate to use the term venerable, but he's done it for a long time, and certainly one of the most popular guys in Division IV baseball. You'll recognize him as Dave King, the head baseball coach of the Lehman Cavaliers, Kinger. It is fun for me to sit down with you. I've known you for a long time, and it's always enjoyable because you are so enthusiastic about what you do for your kids and uh, competing here, coming up here in just a few weeks in high school baseball. Congratulations, and thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate all you do, Press Pro, for the baseball uh, in this area. And I've seen uh, a lot of interviews that you do in sports in general, and, and that's all about the kids and about the program. And you and I have, like you said, we have talked many times, not just during baseball season, uh, when we see each other on the hardwood court or whatever, uh, it's one of our favorites. We've subjects. had some fun. We've had some fun. I want to congratulate you for the fact that your last five or six years here have been phenomenal from the standpoint of your one loss record. I don't have to tell you, by the way, that four of the last six division four championships have been won right in your backyard. Lormy won one in seven and then in ten. And as you well know, the Minster Wildcats and Coach Wiss won back to back for the last two years. They, the Minster Wildcats had to go through you. Notwithstanding that, you have the highest winning percentage over the last five years of any of those teams in Division IV baseball here, and I know that's something you take pride in, but I also know there's a dark side to that too, isn't there? Right, but you know, I can honestly say as a coach, I, I, don't, really, um, I don't really think of the wins and losses. After you reflect the season, then wow, hey, you won 20 games, and um, it, it's been very good to us. Uh, baseball here at Lehman and obviously due to the players and the coaching staff uh, but when you can have that success in a short amount of time um, that's a tribute to the to the program and just uh, kids playing good baseball at the right time having kids that like to play baseball and you've had a bunch of those kids here I want to ask you if it, it's just my opinion but it seems to me that baseball to the small schools that being in division four is more important maybe than some of the other sports, when you consider that across the state, you have a lot more consistency in Division Three and Four baseball than maybe what you do in football and basketball. I don't know, but it just seems to me that when you go to Southeastern Ohio, you see a lot of small schools that have good baseball programs. Northeastern Ohio, a lot of small schools with good baseball. Certainly Patrick Henry up in Northwestern Ohio, good baseball. Does it mean more for the small schools, baseball that is? I think it does, um, but baseball is baseball. To me, um, in, in, in the smaller schools, um, a lot of these kids play together a long, long time, coming up and playing, then when they have a chance to play for their high school team, that, that's, that's, a big th that's a big thing. But I also know this day and age, um, it's tough to have that three sport when spring rolls around. You bet. It's, the third, it's the third sport for some of these people. Um, or or maybe second sport, and, and it's harder. But overall, I would say, you know, your Rushies and your Fort Laramies and our Division IV, our Shelby County League, um, it, it's it's pretty good baseball there, as it is in all the sports in, in this particular area right that where we're from. And so highly competitive. We're talking with Dave King, the head baseball coach here at Lehman High School, on first person. I want to also bring up something that um, – maybe a little bit of a political nature. I'm going to give you an opportunity to talk about this because I have always held that it's one of the most unfair competitive things we ask of kids is to play 27 baseball games over a span of say six weeks because the season typically starts the end of March, last week of March, and you wrap it up as the tournament starts with the second week of May and you know the miserable weather we have here. We're talking today and it's snowing outside but it seems to me that it's a tremendous disadvantage. And if you ask football coaches and basketball coaches, hey, try to get your 22 games, your 10 games relative to that schedule that you have to play, play 10 football games in five weeks, you'd have a little bit of howling. Do you agree? Yeah, the, it, obviously it's a different sport, so there's some different things involved there. But 
the things that makes it tough is that uh, you play in such a short amount of time, and and it's a basically about pitching. And if, <laughs> and if you're blessed that you can throw pitchers out there and play your five, six, I've played six, seven days in a row, and um, it's all about pitching. And um, you need the pitchers, otherwise you're going to put people to sleep with throwing balls, and you know yeah, you just Dave, need even, the pitcher. If, even if you, you take pitching, notwithstanding. Can you imagine basketball playing seven days in a row? No. No, it's it. it Only it's a baseball tough, and softball occasionally, you know, for the girl sports. And but, uh, but one thing that did come on this year, which is kind of nice because uh, it helps the ads and it, and it helps the coaches uh, if they're involved in the scheduling stuff like that. Uh, it used to be you had 23 dates to get 27 games that's right, in, and now they have uh, changed this year to go 27 dates, 27 games. So. It gives you a little more flexibility, but I understand what you're saying. But um, whoever makes the rules and all the things that govern, um, we just again, I do it because I'll follow any rule that they give us just to play the game. I talked to Coach Vittorio down at the University of Dayton. Oh, He's an ambassador of baseball, and he told me last week. He said, "You know, if I had my way, we'd play in May all through summer." Because he said, first of all, you know where your kids are. Two, you got great weather to play in. He said it's a better competitive. It's just a better competitive scenario, and I, I'm sure you feel the same way. Sure, but one thing um, that you have to going back to the small school, um, I do think some bigger schools might not have the problem. But the small schools, obviously, we need to share our athletes. Got a and numbers is numbers are a big, big thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the smaller schools are having a hard time fielding JV teams. Um, uh, we're always every year in the numbers problem, but we want – it's hard for us to field a summer team. But uh, then again, if the kids work hard uh, for that particular time, um, they are playing the game, uh, the national pastime game. So it's it's a great game. I want to give you this opportunity to talk about your team this year in the respect – and not necessarily individual people, but in the respect of uh, – I've seen some of the youth coming up in your program. I know you've got some very good freshman and sophomore talent. Now that said, it, it portends a great opportunity for you because I know you like teaching the game. I know you like working with those kids, and you're going to have nice talent here. As you say, you got to develop some pitching over the next three or four years, but it's fun to have kids who enjoy playing as much as an A.J. Himmelgarn and some of those kids that you have here uh, in your program enjoy it right now. That makes it a lot of fun, and I know that's what makes it special for you. Right. 75% of our roster is made up of freshmen and sophomores. We have a low number junior and low number seniors. Uh, in the last couple years, we graduated a tremendous amount of top-notch seniors. Um, but we're, you're right. So we will start off. No one's going to feel sorry for you to start <laughs> with. Uh, so we'll start with our young kids, and and they. It's a good time to come into the program right now yeah. because if you're young and talented, you have a good shot of playing. And uh, so we'll take those young kids and, and, and develop them. And AJ will be the ace of our staff. Um, but AJ hasn't really pitched a whole lot of high school because right. prior to him, uh, those three uh, freshmen that played for us last year in uh, Spearman and uh, Profit, uh, along with AJ, uh, did a real, real nice job. With, but I've always been blessed with good pitching here. A great, uh, usually number one and number two wasn't bad. So this year, it, it might be a little different. The young arms might not be able to go very long. So it's it's going to be a little challenge on my part, which I look forward to, and the coaching staff to to find combinations, as you say, playing every right. day that go two innings or three innings and maybe come back and go another inning the next day and stuff like that. So uh, we, we have our uh, work cut out for Quickly, us. Quickly, before we're done, tell everybody where Alex Smith went because he was so good for you for the last couple of years. Yeah, he rewrote the record book here. I mean, he was amazing, uh, rubber arm, just a great kid. But he's pitching for Ashland right. uh, University and, uh, uh, and and along with DJ Him, he's playing at High Westland and, and uh, Ben Weber at Defiance. So to have three kids in your lineup, uh, to go on to college ball. That, that's that's neat. And that shows you back what you said earlier, the love of the game. They want, went on. And I'm hoping that maybe a freshman or sophomore in that class uh, that, that we have, that uh, maybe in a few years uh, we'll be looking at a college for them to go to. I told you this guy was enthusiastic <laughs> about what he does, and that's what makes talking with Dave King a lot of fun. Kinger, thank you so much thank for everything you, you do for uh, high school baseball and the kids it. in your community. Thanks so much. All right, that wraps up this week's edition of First Person, again sponsored by the Ruin Camps Farm Drainage in Fort Laramie. Call Phil Barhorst, 80 years of experience with farm, residential, and commercial work. They can make water work for you.
Until next time, for our sponsors and Coach King, thanks for your support of high school sports here on Press Bros. We'll see you with another edition soon here on First Person.